Hello everyone and welcome to Nutrition Simplified. I'm your host Ashley Hawksworth and in today's mini episode it's actually a question from a listener. It's more of a fitness question but I'll answer it here and it's the concept of progressive overload and then we'll see if I can simplify that for them. So progressive overload is a principle in exercise physiology particularly in resistance training. It's where gym goers gradually increase the stress or demand placed on the body during exercise over time. Now this is done to continually challenge the body and to stimulate physiological adaptations, leading to improved strength, muscle size and overall performance. Now we know what the idea or concept of progressive overload is, how can I simplify that for you? What does this mean in the real world? Now when you do exercises like lifting weights or doing press-ups, your muscles get stronger. But if you always do the same amount, your body will get used to it and your body doesn't have to work as hard. So to keep getting stronger, you have to add a bit more weight or do a few extra repetitions. That's you giving your muscles a little challenge and they'll grow stronger to handle it. A few things to consider though when implementing progressive overload is overtraining and burnout. So if you push your body too hard or too quickly without allowing for proper rest and recovery, you could risk overtraining, leading to fatigue and decreased performance. Also a lack of proper technique. Like if you're not performing exercises with proper form and technique, then adding more weight or intensity can just be dangerous. So about nutrition. Although we don't typically overload our body with food in the same sense, we can make progressive adjustments to our nutrition. So think of things like a calorie surplus for muscle gain, calorie deficit for weight loss, or even a macronutrient adjustment for muscle and energy needs, and micronutrient adjustments So we can focus on the quality of our diet by increasing the variety of nutrient dense foods and the vitamins and the minerals that we need. And that ladies and gentlemen was progressive overload. I hope I've made things a little bit more simpler for you. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.